What Chino Farms has to offer birds is this amazing grassland. It's one of the only places in Maryland that they can get this kind of open space and we've noticed that within the first year the grasshopper sparrows, the killdeer, the horn larks, they all came to this immediately. A lot of opportunities out here for Washington College students. It's a whole different look at what field biologists do. These internships are a really good, solid introduction into the field. Washington College provided me the opportunity to really grow as a scientist. I worked with the Smithsonian because of my experience here. I might continue to do seasonal field ecology. Bird banding, it's for migratory research. You get to handle the birds and learn their calls. So we follow the birds watch them and look for their colored bands on their legs. We drop all the mist nets, capture any birds that come into the net, band them, record them. Weight, wing length, mm -hmm. fat, all sorts of things to just look at the condition of the bird and indications that might tell us where it is in migration. So many things that are being researched at the same time. I just walk around with my scope, find different birds, they're color banded, and we record what they're doing at the time. Each individual male has a specific buzz warble that if you record them and look at a spectrogram of the recording, you can see how the songs relate to territory or attracting mates. It's a good mix of habitat on the farm. We have the river, we have the grasslands, the trees. A last resting place of what used to be much of the habitat around here before farming and colonization. A lot of these old grasslands got turned into all corn, all soy fields. And you definitely do see that the grasslands is a more diverse ecosystem. It seems to be better to have different kinds of cover. You can get a different variety of birds. Keeping it a grassland is kind of the big experiment. Basically, we're fighting against succession. If we left this just to go a century, two centuries later, it'd just be filled in with forest. It's just this constant struggle to keep this ethereal grassland which these birds rely on for nesting. It's important because a lot of the birds are in trouble. Northern Bob White are a species in severe decline. This bird is a great indicator species of quality of habitat. The population is rebounding. Birders stop in their tracks because they hear a quail. I take a GPS point or I band a bird and I know that every data point that I collect is becoming a part of this larger understanding of a relationship that we have with the land and with the non-human creatures that inhabit it. And it's that relationship that we need to foster and develop and the only way that we'll interact with the world more sustainably.